Use substitution to solve the following system of equations. Negative 4x plus y equals negative 11. 2x minus 3y equals 5. Again, with substitution, the goal is to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations and then substitute that into the other equation. Noticing that the y in the first equation doesn't have any coefficient other than 1 tells me that that will be easy to solve for. Again, I could solve for the x in either equation or the y in the second equation, but this will be the easiest one. So solving for y here, I get y equals 4x minus 11 by adding the 4x to both sides. Now, this tells me that wherever I see y, I can replace it with 4x minus 11. Again, doing so in the first equation doesn't help me very much, but doing so in the second equation is how I solve this. So I'll replace y with 4x minus 11. Being careful to multiply that whole thing times 3, so I need to keep track of parentheses. And now this is a single equation with a single unknown, just x. So I can solve this. Distributing the 3 through these parentheses, we get 2x minus 12x plus 33 equals 5. And then combining like terms, negative 10x plus 33 equals 5. Subtracting 33 from both sides, we get negative 10x equals negative 28. And then dividing by negative 10, x equals 28 over 10 or 14 over 5. So again, that's half the answer, and to get the other half, we substitute that back into either of the first two equations, but I'm going to use this isolated form of the first equation, plugging 14 over 5 in for x and solving for y. Then y equals 4 times 14 over 5 minus 11, or 56 over 5 minus 55 over 5, which equals one-fifth. So y is one-fifth. We could also have written x and y as decimals and that would have been fine. Also this example illustrates why we need these algebraic methods. Why we can't just solve all of these systems by graphing. There's no way that if we graphed these two lines we could find this exact point with these fractional coordinates. And there's no way that we could be certain uh, by looking at the graph what that point is. These algebraic methods, though, can give us exact answers, even if they aren't clear from a picture like that. In this case, though, these two lines cross at the point where x is 14 over 5 and y is 1 over 5.